Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the online demo for Fire M about the simulation setup for an intake port. Let me introduce myself. My name is Andreas Diemert. I am an analysis engineer for AVL Fire in the application fields of in cylinder flow, general purpose CFD, and industrial applications. The content of this session will be the simulation setup and the job submission and the online monitoring. And for practicing, we will directly move to the online monitoring. This session is seen as a continuation session for the previous meshing session for multiple valve lifts. To set up the simulation, we change to the home tab and start in the domain section with the specification of the simulation mesh. After the mesh is loaded, all existing selections on the mesh are displayed in the properties window. And now we are starting with the actual setup of the simulation. We are beginning with the run mode. An intake board is typically a steady simulation and here we use a max number of iterations of 5000. For the material properties we use pure air which is already pre-selected in the default setup. In the equation control we typically activate those equations which are of interest for the problem. Since we are not expecting a Mach number bigger than 03, we can switch to incompressible. As well, we will also switch off the enthalpy equation. Additional terms such as body forces are not required in this task. So we can directly move to solo control. In the solar control section, we typically specify numerical parameters. These parameters are typically differencing schemes, blending factors and linear solver. The numerics control handles typically issues which are triggered by the quality of the mesh. And since this is an iterative solution process, we have to provide also a start solution, which is done in the section Initial Conditions. And in the Output section, which is basically divided into two sections, for example in the 3D section we specify desired cell quantities, which we will post-process in the next session. In the second Output section, the 2D results, we will produce averaged values which can be created selection based or for the entire domain. As an example, for 2D results selection based output, we will create the discharge coefficient using the formula function. We are adding a new row for the formula function. We select formula and the formula input window opens. We select load formula and locate the required formula in the installation. We select discharge using phase selection in the dialog. The formula is loaded by select open. If required, modify the inner valve seat diameter and the boundary condition type in the formula. After selecting OK, the formula is taken over into the setup. And now we specify the backup file. For example, we enter here 500 iterations and the output for the restart file we keep with 50 iterations. The default boundary condition type is specified with heat flux zero and is not changed in this setup. 
Two new boundary condition interfaces for the inlet and the outlet are required. And the first one we are starting with is the inlet boundary condition where we specify a total pressure boundary condition with 100,000 Pascal. For all other input values we keep the default values. The second boundary condition we have to apply is the outlet boundary condition and here we will specify a constant static pressure with a value of 79,500 Pascal. The specified pressure gradient between inlet and outlet fits to the AVL testbed conditions. The setup of a single simulation run is finished now. We are using now the functionality of parameters to extend the simulation setup for several valve lifts. For that purpose, we go to Mesh File, select Assign Parameter and add a new parameter using the Mesh File. And now we change to the Parameters tab to complete the setup for several valve lifts. The parameter has to be added to the used parameter list to make it available for multiple case setup. To prepare simulation setup, we select job setup, we change from single to MPI mode and select also or specify the relevant number of CPUs to be used for the simulation run. And then we select run to launch the simulation. In the multi-calculation tab we can see the progress of the relevant simulation. Depending on the relevant model size and also on the number of simulated cases it may take a certain time to finish the simulation tasks. Let us now summarize. In one simulation setup we can create simulations for multiple valve lifts. The setup is done in a very easy top to down methodology and it allows also an inbuilt monitoring during the simulation. In case of further questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you very much for your attention.